One of the behaviors I get called for the most is potty training a dog. So we're gonna go through potty training with Jade here, three month old puppy. In order to potty train your dog, you basically have to crate train them or you have to keep them tethered to you. You have to keep them close or confined. Most dogs will not potty in a crate. So this is gonna basically, you're gonna put the dog in the crate, they're not gonna go potty, then you can reinforce them for going potty. So how do you crate train a dog? Look at Jade. So what we have here is we have a bone that we filled with wet food and we froze it. So that's gonna get her happy in this crate. Okay, if she doesn't have separation anxiety, which she doesn't, and that's a whole nother video if your dog has separation anxiety, then she's gonna think of this crate as a good place because I'm not just throwing her in it, giving her some squeaky toys, I'm giving her something really, really good. A bone with wet food frozen in it. Here's my rule of thumb. Two months, two hours, three months, three hours, four months, four hours. Two months, they can hold their potty during the day for two hours, three months, three hours. So this dog can only hold its bladder for about three hours throughout the day. So the process I use is I go dog in the crate, let the dog out, reinforce the dog for going potty with treats, then let the dog have access to the house, and then back in the crate. Then repeat that process over and over and over again. Crate, potty, reinforce for going potty, freedom in the house, but freedom, you gotta watch them. Okay, if they go off, they go off, there's a good chance they're going off to another room to pee or poop. Then back in the crate, then once they're in the crate for a while, you know they have to go potty, They've been in there for an hour. They were running around the house for an hour. That's two hours, right? Now they gotta go again. So this dog's being conditioned to be good in the crate, is in fact enjoying itself in the crate because it's getting something special. Now it's time to go potty. Okay, Jay, don't worry about like waiting at the crate door. Don't worry about it. Now we're gonna go out. You wanna take them to the door, your front door. You don't wanna pick them up a lot, okay? They need to know the process for getting to the door. Come on, Jade. Let's go. Let's go potty. And then you're going to come outside of your house. If you want your dog to go to a specific spot, you need to put him on a leash. Right? You want him to go to, go to the, the turf, or you want him to go in the grass, or you want him to go in the dirt. You need to take him there on a leash. Because what's going to happen, you're going to have him on a leash. They, you know they have to go because they've been in the crate for an hour or two. And when they go, you're going to reinforce them. So come on, let's... Let's say she wants to go in the rock area over here. Or they, the owners wanted to go in a rock area. I would take her to the rock area. Get her here. Jade. Jade, come on. What a good girl. And then you wait. You stand in the rock area. She went potty a little while ago, so I'm not sure she's gonna go. And then you just wait. I've got her treats. Do I wanna sit here and play with her? Absolutely not. I wanna be as boring as I can be so that she just starts to smell and goes off and pees. Am I gonna give her one tiny little little treat? No, I'm gonna jackpot her. If I wanted to train a sit, I could train, I could do 50 sits in a day. If you're doing potty training, you get what? Five pees, three poops? That's eight times. I wanna make those eight times a big deal with jackpotting of treats. So she's just smelling, I don't know if she's gonna go. Couple rules of thumb. When they're smelling the ground, they might go. Also a yawn is generally a sign that a puppy needs to go potty. Trust me on that. So let's say Jade went. I'm just gonna act like she went. Okay. She goes potty. Jade, what a good girl, what a good girl. And look at that, that's like four pieces of hot dog. That's a significant reinforcement for going. That's gonna make a big impression on your dog's brain when you make a big deal out of that potty, okay? So, that's potty training. Use the crate, let him out, reinforce him for going outside. If you see them going in the house, some people say ignore it. I don't believe that. If they're going, if you see them go, clap, and they kind of clinch up, right? Hey, clap, and they go, oh, and they stop going, and then go get him and take him outside. Don't just ignore it. Right, just ignoring them going in the house. I go, hey, and I clap my hands, and then I go get the dog, 
you want to like startle them a little bit when they're going in the house. So punish the going in the house, reinforce for going out of the house. That's potty training.